Hello, denizens. Well, I, I didn't manage to do my Comey Chato Tech News um, shoot today. Uh, we had to, unfortunately, rush out to this campsite and actually enjoy ourselves. But I've got some time-sensitive uh, jokes here, which have to be released. So uh, for the first time, I'm shooting this on my iPhone. I, I don't even know if I'm in frame and I'm going to be reading this. Uh, as you can tell, we've got some uh, squawking dog neighbors, but let's see if I can get through this, uh, denizens. I hope you enjoy it. So uh, <clears throat> uh, from the beginning, hello, denizens of the internet. Welcome to Call Me Chato, tech news and other stuff that isn't tech news, but because you're seeing this on YouTube, which requires tech to see it, then as far as I'm concerned, it's tech news. Okay. You have that straight, maggots? Fine. So, Sir Johnny Ive, the former chief design uh, officer at Apple, teamed up with Ferrari for an electric car. That that should be good. Of course, it won't come with a charger. Uh, but what I'm looking forward to is Ive revisiting some of his older, more inspired iMac designs, like the Luxo Mac, that the uh, Luxo iMac. That that would be a really cool Ferrari, I, I think. Apple is uh, ticked off at the EU, the European Union, finally forcing it to adopt USB-C for all its mobile devices. And only the iPhone is left using uh, the lightning port as the new iPads use USB-C. Apparently the lightning accessory licensing business is worth $10 billion uh, to Apple. That's not chump change. Uh, Apple's statement press statement said, this will stifle innovation. Right, right. Innovation in the charger arena. Yeah. Well, you know what I, kind of innovation I would like is uh, that the companies that include these stupid chargers also label them so we know which frickin' device they're actually uh, associated with. Of course, we know the Apple, Apple chargers. Uh, let's see now, where am I here? Uh, I'm sorry to announce um, that the end of fireworks is, is coming. If any of you saw the Tokyo Olympics, you saw that they had some spectacular um, shows that they use drones uh, in formation. Uh, and now uh, I just saw this absolutely wild, I think Korean uh, set of aerial uh, artwork using the drones. Uh, and it's made by synchronizing more than 2,000 drones in the night sky. And, and they're absolutely spectacular. Look it up. Maybe I'll leave a link if I, if I remember. Uh, so I, but I do miss the sounds of, of fireworks, although they could, in theory, add them to just some big speakers and, and fake that experience. Uh, so, um, uh, so, uh, half, so the thing is, you know, what's nice about uh, moving to drones is that the, without the big booms and, and, um, and the noise of fireworks, speaking of which, assholes. Um, yeah, some some camping. What the fuck are you building? You're just supposed to pull up your trailer and that's it. I don't, what the hell are they doing? Anyways, um, there's an awful lot of people in the world, at least half the world, duck and cover whenever they hear explosions. So not having fireworks is probably a good thing. Um, there was one time where um, we had fireworks on our street in our neighborhood and and uh, someone set off a Roman candle and, and it fell over and it shot and exploded under a neighbor's SUV. And we all ran. So uh, that's a good reason for using using the drones. Uh, you won't set your SUVs on, on fire. Uh, let's see now. What's next? Uh, oh, I should have set this up a uh, bigger text. Um, Facebook is paying Accenture, the consulting company uh, uh, more than uh, uh, $500 million a year to moderate content on its platform. Uh, my, my screen is going black here. Uh, back in 2007, a settlement with the state of New York required Facebook to remove pornographic posts within 24 hours. Initially, Facebook had its own employees do the work, but they were quickly overwhelmed and the company turned to um, automation and outsourcing. Today, 90, uh, more than 90% of uh, 
flag content is removed using artificial intelligence, while the other 10% human moderators have to evaluate. Accenture took on the work when Facebook moved on from its original content moderation supplier because they were suffering from PTSD. Uh, moderators can view up to 700 posts per shift of nasty porn, uh, killings, and animal cruelty. That's why Accenture took over. Perfect place because accountants enjoy that kind of stuff. They have no feelings. And large consulting firms are used to, you know, fucking over their clients. So it was easy for Accenture. They have no soul. Uh, there are an estimated 100,000 to 560,000 unplugged oil wells uh, in Pennsylvania, a massive environmental hazard, uh, that kind of thing. And, and, uh, is it? And, and no one knows where they're located. Uh, I would suggest maybe the laundries know where they are. Go, go ask them. Uh, a couple of cool sites you need to check out yourself is uh, you are listening dot two t o you are listening dot two pairs a city's police scanner with ambient music. It's it's really uh, very Blade Runnery. That's at night. Go go to get a cocktail, turn it on, and you'd be surprised how much time you spend <laughs> with it. Um, I'll I'll leave a link. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, computer going dark. Uh, let's see now. The other one that's really cool is the Air Sickness Bag Museum. It's it's a virtual collection of more than 3,000 vomit bags from around the world. Some are pretty amazing. I'm, I'm not joking. Uh, there really is a website called the Air Sickness Bag Bags.com. Go visit it. Um, why they bother to decorate them, I have no idea. I don't think anyone keeps them after using them. Uh, and then finally, uh, my new favorite website is Websites from Hell. Uh, uh, HTTPS, uh, www, air, oh, no, that's air sickness. Websites from Hell.net. That's it. Websites from Hell.net curates a list of the world's worst websites. Uh, if you only recently recovered from the blink tag, uh, you will have terrible flashbacks after seeing some of the sites that they have there. Uh, what's interesting for me, especially being in the web business, is that the one of the rules that you learn is is that if someone has, well, the worse the site, worse the website they have is, the less likely they want to change it because they love it. And uh, you have to qualify your leads in this business. So that's it. That's all I have to say from beautiful uh, secretive uh, campsite, which I can't tell you uh, because you can't know I'm I'm here playing hooky from work. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you.